Today I'm going to show you how to buy cryptocurrency on Binance so you will be able to use your credit card or debit card to buy cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, Ethereum or Ripple. Before we begin, click thumbs up, subscribe our channel and hit the bell. So let's start. First of all, you need to go to Binance.com, of course you will find a link to Binance in the description of this video, so all you have to do is click on it. And after you click on it and you are on Binance, first thing you need to do is to register your account. Uh, to register your account, all you have to do is click in the right top corner, I'm already logged in, so I don't see register button over here, but once you get to Binance, click register and create your account. After you create the account, make sure you log into your account and once you do this, all we have to do is click up here on buy crypto. After we go to buy crypto, we can scroll down over here and in this place we can choose the currency. So if you want to buy Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies using USD, you would choose USD. However, if you are not paying in USD, you can choose any other currency. For example, Chinese Yuan, uh, Hong Kong dollars, uh, Japanese Yen, etc, etc. Thai baht, there are all the currencies from all around the world, so it doesn't matter where are you, because you can pay in any currency you want. However, in this example, I'm just gonna choose USD. After we choose the currency over here, we can type in the amount of, for example, dollars that we want to pay for the cryptocurrency. So let's say I'm gonna type uh, $10,000. Uh, and after we type the amount, down here we can choose which cryptocurrency we would like to buy. So as you can see, there are quite few cryptocurrencies that we can buy directly using uh, US dollars. For example, Bitcoin, BNB, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, EOS, etc. etc. We also can buy some stable coins like Binance USD, PAX or TUSD. So let's say we want to buy Bitcoin, so I'm gonna hit this and then we click next. And this screen may be different depends on which currency we chose. Because if we choose for example Thai baht, then we will have options that are associated with Thailand. If we choose USD, the options will be associated with United States. If we choose Canadian dollars, it will be associated with Canada. If we choose Polish Zloty, it will be associated with Poland, etc, etc. So these options might be a little bit different. However, all of them should have simplex. And all of them should also have this first option where we can add our new card we can add our credit or debit card over here so all we have to do is click add a new card then over here we type our card number down here we type our expiration date and security code which is cvv however like i mentioned before this first option may not work with all of the debit cards around the world so if this option doesn't work for you uh, of course, after we add the card, we can click buy and then we'll have to go through verification and we will be able to buy our crypto. Uh, however, if this option doesn't work for you, here is an option that works in pretty much any country there is around the world. And this is Simplex. So, if we want to buy crypto using Simplex, all we have to do is click buy over here. After this, we will see what is the order amount, so how many Bitcoins we're going to get, what is our deposit account associated with Binance, and then up here, what is the total charge uh, from our card. So we have to click that we read and agreed to this disclaimer, and then we go to payment. 
after we go to payment we have order summary so how much bitcoin we will approximately buy uh, what is the total amount of money we're going to pay and which currency and then down here we need to type in our card number our expiration date and name on the card and then security code which is, which is uh, CVV. Here we can save uh, our card for future purchases. We don't have to save it of course and down here we need to fill some important information. So here we need to fill in our billing address. Then we need to fill in city, our zip code and country. So if you're buying from USA, you have to also include state. However, if you are buying from any other country, let's say Australia, you don't have to fill the state because the state is not there. So it all depends on your country of residence. Australia, USA, China, Chile, Chad, whatever country you are from, you'll be able to buy uh, cryptocurrencies using this way. So let's say I'm gonna leave Australia for now and down here we need to fill in our email address, our phone number and our date of birth. All of this will be used in the next step. So we need to click that we have read and agreed to the terms and conditions and then we hit pay now. So after we hit pay now, we will be taking to the second step, which is verification. A verification is very simple, so based on our first and last name that we input here and based on our date of birth, we will get verified. In order to do that, we will be asked to send a copy, like a photo of our ID or of our passport. So you can send national ID or your passport photo where there is your information about your name, your date of birth and after you send it within usually few minutes it will be checked and verified and as soon as it's done your Bitcoin or any other currency that you chose will be purchased and added to your Binance account. So I hope this all is clear. This is how you can buy cryptocurrency on Binance using credit or debit card.